Reddit, the website that's plagued mankind for years. Am I the a-hole for telling my wife there is no way she is naming our son after her ex? <laughs> giving YouTubers an effort amount of views for reading or just giving an audio description service. I kicked over my little neighbor's bike and he said he was gonna purge me. Oh, look at that little boy! Maybe you should try getting a job. With infinite amount of pages, there's endless content that can be milked. But even when there isn't enough content, the fans just simply make it for them. Oh, wow. Leave your entries in now what if I told you that Reddit has been weaponized to rot your brain even quicker and attack you when you least expect it? I introduce you to TikTok Reddit stories. My wife demanded we open our merit. My girlfriend gave me an ultimatum. My, my ex is a lawyer. My sister update. I don't care. Is anyone else starting to see a pattern here? Whilst any TikTok for you page is the epitome of brain rot. I know you're not supposed to be up there. When you hit with a Reddit story, there's no escape. I decided to snoop through my girlfriend's computer. Oh. No. The TikTok Reddit formula is simple. Step one, steal the most unbelievable posts from Reddit. Step two, record some <laughs> Minecraft parkour. <laughs> or just most likely steal it. I mean, don't give these accounts too much credit. Step three, add auto captions and an AI narrator <laughs> over the Minecraft <laughs> gameplay. Uh, and step four, upload and steal any of the brain power from anyone who's unfortunate enough to open TikTok. What is the most traumatic thing that's happened to you in a relationship? My girlfriend came out to me. My wife and I have been married for about a year now. My girlfriend came out to me? My wife! You have, a, you have a girlfriend who's come out as gay, but he also has a wife, so he's in a bit of a kerfuffle anyway. There's already a few holes in this story already. My wife and my girlfriend, yeah, I mean my wife, I'm so... <laughs> Now a few days ago she told me that she also likes women. Anyway, due to my job, I travel once a month to a different part of our state. So I'm away from our apartment at least five days a month. Right, so he works away, which is a common trend in these stories. Like, oh, I just happen to have a job where I have to spend three days out of my week in some other country or other like state, city, whatever. Because people can't cheat on you when you're in the same city or when you'd live together. They can't do that, it's not possible. So today I was heading home to see her and talk about this. I kept noticing she changed the subject every time I brought up the situation. And eventually, she started to cry. And she finally started saying she was sorry. I asked her that she didn't have to be sorry. That I wasn't going to leave her just because she was bought. So she finally told me the truth. She's been sleeping with one of her female co-workers. Using the days when I was not home. She told me that she still loves me. And she wanted to open the relationship so that she could continue to sleep with her co-worker. The divorce is definitely happening now. It is always that like, oh I want an open relationship. This is not going to destroy our marriage or whatever I have. What do you expect? <laughs> You're a bit same anymore. A lot of these will make you feel like there's no hope in actual real relationships. I mean, I see a lot of comments like saying, oh, I've been scrolling for these two hours, it's really fucking up my head. It always just pops up when you least expect it and you're like, you're hooked in. You're like, oh shit, this is actually kind of juicy. Juicy gossip this, fuck me. <laughs> oh, it's really interesting. It's got me hooked now. How long have I been here? about fucking one hour and I'll be scrolling through these stories on TikTok. It, it just reels you in mate, it's got you and it just don't help your brain. So let me just summarize a few more of these relationship stories. Cheat on me after I propose? You'll regret that for the rest of your life. Right, so she cheats and her friend just gives like loads of evidence to the guy and literally just sends it to all the families. I didn't want to do this but she left me no choice. I went home, made an email titled for your reading pleasure and attached every picture her friend sent me, including screenshots of the chat with her friend where she expressed how guilty she felt about the cheating. I also attach the videos of her grinding and making out with other guys. It's always like a massive revenge story after being cheated on. Found out my boyfriend of one year has been hiding a huge secret from me for the entire time we've been together. Boyfriend has a secret family, like that one family guy bit. Don't have one family, have a second family. Don't just have a second family, have a third family in Santa Fe. The child my cheating wife is having isn't mine. So basically his kids snitch on his wife, um, bringing over a special friend. You're my special friend. <laughs> And then he notices she's been acting a bit cranky con, like she was when she was pregnant before. Mm. Then he just drops fat stacks on cameras and equipment to spy and get evidence for his own house. Oh uh -uh, man, not my house! So with all the footage, the proof of cheating, goes to <laughs> it goes to Saul Goodman to absolutely destroy her in court. That's what the kids call epic fail. It's always the same story though. I love my wife, I love my husband. Oh, I, I just work away for some random reason at all. Why do they not want the sexy time anymore? And then finally they become Cole Phelps. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? And just get a ridiculous amount of evidence to absolutely destroy him in the divorce. <laughs> and the other half is just George R. R. Martin levels of fiction. My free use assistant, a friend in need. I opened the door and was promptly greeted by a loud bang. One of the waitresses has dropped a big stack of dishes. We have known each other since we were kids and went to the same schools. Her eyes are filled with water. Get out this since you are fired. Ah, so I just happened to witness my old friend get fired because they can't manage to even carry a stack of plates. I suspend my disbelief. 
where she starts to break down. This can't be happening right now. Don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Is there anything I can do for you? Should I bring you home? I don't have a home. I got evicted yesterday, I finally convinced her to come with me to my house. This is where you live? Yes, see, I was telling the truth when I told you I wouldn't even notice you living here until you were back up on your feet. Her eyes begin wandering over the two supercars in my driveway. You are doing pretty well for yourself. Supercars and a massive house. I suspend my disbelief. We agree that to keep living here, she will help me around the house. This goes on until that one fateful day. See these past two weeks were great, and I love working for you. You are like the best boss someone can wish for. She took a big breath. There is something else. I hadn't had intimacy in like forever, and I really miss it I almost choke on my food. I chuckle so you want me to pay you to F you because you crave some. Intimacy? Personal sex mid. I suspend my disbelief. See? Man don't pretend like you don't want this. She grabs her TTS. She smiles, feeling what her words have done to the thing in my pan. I slap her SS and turn around. Alright, why the Wattpad is his work of fiction? <laughs> my wife shares my big PP with my college crush, and I've never been happier. Alright, so saying you had an experience with your wife and your college crush wasn't enough, you had to make it about your magnum dong. This is the realest Reddit story you'll find, and you can't convince me otherwise. Like, a lot of these stories is like, older people going through divorces or like sex stories or ridiculous lives and every single one of them just decided okay i'm gonna sit down type this novel out on reddit because it happened i couldn't even think of a story that's even slightly as interesting or dramatic as these personal experiences so in college we wanted to see the new gym on the campus it wasn't part of our regular course we did tv and films like, oh that was, might as well have a look let's all go down obviously we don't ever go to this part of the campus because it's not actually a part of our course or anything we by this woman in the other building oh, the only thing that happens the only thing that we say is my one friend goes and goes gym that's all he said i i turned around towards the door because i'm like pretending to walk away because it, it was so fucking embarrassing everyone else is looking at us in that building like why the fuck are they here? And I actually walked at Dollar Art. And all the mates just start following me. <laughs> Except from that one guy. So we're all just walking away. I left him in that dire, dire situation. Yeah, that's all I've got. <laughs> I'm legitimately waiting for one of these stories. Just describe the plot of Breaking Bad. Cancer on my 50th birthday? Fine. I'll cook meth. Jesse, there's a fly we have to get. It has to be clean. To decontaminate. <laughs> what are you even trying to say? And one of the worst parts about this thing, if you're actually like hooked and really want to find like the next part of the story, they won't upload it all in one go. Even though they can, because it like TikTok videos go up to like 10 minutes now. First thing you'll try and do, literally just look in the account, find the video that you've just watched, watch the next one. Most of the time they wouldn't even uploaded it. They won't <laughs> they would just stopped uploading that story. And then also it says at the top of the comments it'll say like, oh the search thing to try and find the next part. And because everyone does these same Reddit stories on the website, they find the same one, you'll find the next part. Just going through the effort when you're that hooked, I could just easily like stop wasting my time watching these and just actually like do something with my life. But no, you're just stuck on your fucking phone trying to find the next part of this bloody Reddit story about somebody cheating on the wife or somebody, someone's big pee pee. <laughs> right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a bit different from the normal stuff. I enjoyed doing it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do next. But yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. Bye.